My name is Tavis of Berlin and Love, and I'm going to present to you about opportunities. So before I go um, into opportunities, I'll talk a little bit about my work um, with persons with disabilities in Zimbabwe. So as you know, I'm a sign language interpreter and an advocate for the use of sign language in Zimbabwe. And um, before I started working in the deaf community, I knew a lot, according to me, about persons with disabilities. I knew we had athletes who are persons with disability, who have disabilities. We have two senators in Zimbabwe who have disabilities. And we have... Um, famous people in Zimbabwe who have disabilities. It is only until I got engaged within the deaf community that I saw that opportunity was not provided for all. What do we term disability for us? For most people, disability is someone in a wheelchair. Where you can see that a wheelchair, they need a ramp. Where you can see that someone is blind, they need a can. What, what does it mean for the deaf person? I'll give a, um, when I started learning sign language in 2014, I met a deaf friend who's called Tafazwa, and we used to, um, we, I used to learn sign language on the streets. So as he was selling airtime and phone accessories from those from Africa, they know what I'm talking about, um, people would come through and say, um, sorry, how much are these earphones? And he would try to explain, $2.50, you know? But then people don't have time, they're like, oh, no, let me just go to the next person. That's an opportunity that is missed. So my work, what I do, is I bridge the gap of communication between the hearing and the deaf. What I realized is that it's not the deaf who have the problem. It is the hearing people who cannot communicate and provide equal opportunity. I'm challenging you guys, what do you call, in your organizations, I know all of you have organizations and are doing amazing stuff. You say, oh, we're very inclusive. We want persons with disabilities to apply. But are you providing that opportunity in a language that they understand? I have so many people who say, well, the deaf don't apply, so you know, um, we cannot involve them in whatever we're doing. I just offered you $10. If I offered it in English, you would have come and get it. But because it, I offered it in a different language, you were not able to comprehend it. So my challenge to you, ladies and gentlemen, is in your organizations, when, when you're going back home to Africa, we have different um, communities of deaf around you. I challenge you for you to make sure that when you organize your activities, you involve persons with disabilities, not just the whole bunch, persons with disabilities, make sure it is specific to the deaf, to the blind, for wheelchair, people who need wheelchairs. So I'll talk a little bit about my work in Zimbabwe. Um, uh, like I said, uh, we bridge the gap of communication between the hearing and the deaf. We do this through the internet and we post YouTube videos, we post YouTube um, videos online on different uh, platforms so that people, wherever they are, can access the material. This has been very successful and one, one day um, here in America, I met a woman who's very known within the deaf community here. And she's like, you know, before I went to Zimbabwe, I actually watched your, your YouTube videos and I learned a few signs before I went to engage with the deaf community in Zimbabwe. So this is, a, this is something that my friend and I started thinking, you know, doing because we're doing it among us but it has grown to be something um, huge so um, persons with disabilities also have talents this is my friend um, Tafadwa he's an artist with his German mentor um, we also connect uh, people with talents within the deaf community to people to people who are what can I say uh, we also what right, we connect the deaf community we make uh, what's the English word sorry we make the deaf community known. That's what I'm trying to say. Like we make the deaf community known out there that there is a community with talents just the same as us. So my challenge to you ladies and gentlemen is when you go back home, like I said, program your activities so that it is inclusive and so that you include everyone in what you do. Thank you very much. I'm um, very soon, sorry. Very soon um, we're making an application that will help bridge the gap of communication for doctors nurses, um, teachers and stuff like that because in Zimbabwe pe people do not know sign hence when a deaf person goes to the doctor they're not able to get the adequate medicine or um, the adequate treatment because the, te the doctors do not know how to communicate. So thank you very much.